Well, yes, I have returned with more cyberpunk news and updates for you all because CD Projekt Red has been very busy replying to your biggest concerns about the future of cyberpunk. Plus, a response about a highly requested feature will finally make its way into the game. Also, a warning for PC players, you're going to want to pay attention to this one for sure. And it appears some cyberpunk players are being left behind. So yeah, a lot of stuff to talk about. Let's dive into it right now first of all starting with this one right here this was spotted on reddit posted out here by cyberpunk community on twitter and it's basically showcasing that something is under construction it looks like it is the metro subway now we have an official response about this one straight from the community manager himself martian moment who goes on to say this sorry to be the buzz killer but that's not it there are no plans to add metro to the game which of course a lot of people were really bummed about this one however we have this damn thank you for clarifying though and marson says no problem again i know this might not be the best news but we want to be transparent and just say it like it is it would be really cool to see this make its way into the game of course we do have a really cool mod on the pc side of things where there is a functional metro system but i think right now cd project red is going through uh, a priority list and asking themselves are players really buying or getting into cyberpunk to ride the train and i think that's what they're assessing they would probably rather have their team working on new weapons new cars things that you guys will be using consistently and constantly throughout uh your journey in cyberpunk of course my assessment of all of this is it should have been in the game in the first place it was kind of teased in trailers and things like that but yeah it is what it is all right so here is a warning for those of you that are on pc check this out this comes straight from uh moon dad who says attention people who have modded the game on previous version hi this is the community manager of red modding the team behind woven kit and hoster of the cyberpunk modding discord this is an important message regarding everyone who has modded the game before update 1.5 with every update our tools like cet woven kit red script red for uh extra etc etc breaks and mini mods as well we do our best and update those tools as fast as possible but that doesn't mean mods will work cd product red is chaining a lot of their internal coding and script changing it's supposed to say uh their internal coding and script with every update and our tools have to reflect that as well that also means mods that use our tools need to reflect towards the change as well if your game crashes please make sure you have uninstalled every mod and every modding tool except woven kit that one simple uh needs an update uh for it to be working again and is not reflecting towards the crash with the game first before complaining about the game not working and crashing on start if you want more feel free to join our server and ask any questions get notifications on updates and so on and so forth so yeah there's a warning for those of you that are on pc perhaps you're experiencing a crash here and there and it's irritating you well ask yourselves did you install mods to your game before update 1.5 kicked in? That's going to be really important to ask yourself that question and make sure you follow their instructions and wait for any updates to these modding tools. All right, let's keep going here. Now, we got to talk about this one right here. Um, it says, this is the headline, it says this, Cyberpunk's new crowd AI was deemed too powerful to release on last-gen consoles, the roar of the crowd. I myself, I call BS on this one, by the way. I've played Assassin's Creed Unity on old gen consoles that had the most intense crowds I've ever seen in NPCs ever. You got Red Dead Redemption 2, and then even GTA 5, which that released originally on Xbox 360 and PS3. So I myself, I feel that's a little bit ridiculous. And you know, a lot of players that are stuck on PS4 are feeling like they're left behind it says how i feel right now as a ps4 player browsing this sub and you can see poor squidward looking on to everyone just having a ton of fun here next gen players and pc players i think it's a bit ridiculous if they couldn't get those features into the old gen version of the game my opinion is they just didn't have the manpower or were unwilling to uh um, you know put people on that project they would instead have them work on something else that's my opinion. Oh my God, there goes that car flying. But that's just my opinion on that one. Let me know how you guys feel about that. But yeah, PS4 has been running into some issues. And we have another update here from Marson Moment from CD Projekt Red. Let me zoom this in a little bit more for you all. That's really zoomed in, but that'll work. It says, thanks for all for the feedback. 
uh, regarding patch 1.5 so far. We really appreciate all the messages arriving from all over the world. Please keep them coming. We wanted to take a moment to let you know, at the moment, we are looking into the following problems reported by some players. The disc version not launching on PS4 after applying the patch, game crashing on launch on PC, audio software related, and there's a potential fix workaround right, right here. If you are having that issue, I'm going to throw links in the description. You can pause that there as well. But yeah, they are aware of some of these issues that are currently, I guess you would say, plaguing Cyberpunk, but I haven't heard that they are very widespread. But it's apparent to me right now, CD Projekt Red has a message to their team. This is my idea, at least from what we're seeing, is that, hey, we are not focused whatsoever on PS4 or Xbox One old gen. You know, that is just a loss to us. And we will try to update it as best as possible. But, uh, you know, when you go to the PSN store and you see a warning that says, hey, don't buy uh, the PlayStation 4 version of the game, buy the uh, PS5 version, you know, they're going to focus on next gen. I got to ask, how many of you in my community are currently on Xbox One or PS4? Do you feel frustrated by the uh, recent update? Do you feel left behind? How are you feeling about the recent changes? Of course, there were a lot of really cool stuff added uh you know still on ps4 and xbox one don't get me wrong they haven't completely abandoned the platform i guess i shouldn't say that they have outright abandoned you guys i think that's wrong but uh yeah it, it's just not their focus that's how i should word it you know uh but anyway let's keep going here here are some quotes here from the article it says the changes mean that crowds in the game will now react more realistically to your aggressive actions with NPCs fighting back running away or even fighting each other it's actually really cool. You know, we've even seen NPCs that react to you having a gun out. They try to fight you or they pull their own weapon out. And then the police see that and they start shooting the civilian and the civilian gets in a fight with the cops. It's really, really cool. There's some neat things in here. It says it brings up a bit more reactivity in life to the city, said Quest Director Palos Hasco. The fact that some of the people are actually armed and they may decide to attack you at the moment when you threaten them in some ways. In car, similar reactions can take place with the team calls panic driving now again this stuff should have been in the game at first that's just my opinion it's just such a shame that uh the drawback here is that the change could seemingly only be made on ps5 and xbox series x pc and stadia with ps4 and xbox one versions seemingly retaining the original ai yeah that's absolutely a bummer now here's a further quote on what's going on there it says i can say that with the changes and additions being made via updates to cyberpunk's core the game which was already technically complex, it's becoming more and more so. The growing complexity requires more resources, such as faster internal storage or more memory, of which there's typically a finite amount on consoles. With this in mind, we've made the decision to introduce some features only in the next-gen versions when it comes to consoles in order to keep targeting the delivery of most optimal and stable gameplay experience on base, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One hardware. And you know what? From that quote there, that does make sense. One thing that we are dealing with here, which is completely unique from other open-world games, is that this city is extremely complex in my opinion doesn't really work on the base ps4 or the base xbox one the architecture is just crazy here and it requires so much resource i was surprised they even tried and attempted to release it on old gen consoles but again you know i haven't played it on the base ps4 or xbox one let me know how it's running for you all now if you missed this there are some brand new romance options in fact this is in the game now pan am will send you ludes in the new cyberpunk update well that's one way to win back fans yeah so get out there get your romance on in the game because there's some new stuff to explore then we have Marson moment who has been very busy he also has this to say pc players if you are experiencing slow texture loading when playing from hdd make sure to enable hdd mode that automatically detects which drive the game is installed on and boost data loading and crowd activity at the expense of crowd variety extra loading screens and less details there's options right here as you can see right here hdd mode turn it on for sure so hopefully that helps some of you out uh you know with that then we have this one if you're on xbox series s not X it says this uh, CD project investigating 60 frames per second support on Xbox Series S. The developer says they don't know if this will be possible, but I wouldn't hold your breath right now on that one. But it would be cool to see them support that platform with 60 frames per second 
for sure. All right, now it's time to go over your top comments. Remember, leave a comment down below. It could end up right here in a future video. Let's do this. So yes, my most recent video was called Update 1.5 has a lot of hidden secrets and changes. And boy, does it. Like this update was amazing in my opinion. Uh, and I've been bouncing back and forth between PC and PS5. But also, I, I actually wanted to comment something right here. So I wanted to clarify, it just seems a lot of you could ride motorcycles from games before patch 1.5. So this comment here that I posted was a response to a lot of you guys saying, hey, you can ride motorcycles from games way before patch 1.5. You can steal motorcycles, uh, you know, right out of the gates at launch. I couldn't, for some reason, I just couldn't. Like I tried everything and I guess it might've been a unique glitch to my game. I don't know, it's the weirdest thing. But then we have L who says this, for those who haven't played the game on Psycho difficulty, when you reach four stars, you'll find not only max tech, but also machine gun towers and drones firing at you like crazy on every building. And the max tech, excuse me, max tech are vicious as if they can only one shot you. Finally, it's more fun and challenging than before. So that's cool to see. They are kind of really you know, interested in updating the police system. Right now, it is still extremely underwhelming, even compared to games that were released on Xbox 360, you know, that sort of thing, and PS3. So they have a, a ways to go with this system, and I think it should be uh, up there as priority uh, to make the police a better force to contend with in this game. Now, we have Atomic Fight who says the following. Yes, the dynamic events are key. The city needs to be alive. It was really dead at launch in the beginning, but it seems like improvements are being made, which is good, and hopefully more come our way. Civilians need to be more dynamic and have loot on them, whether it's junk, clothing, eddies, food, or weapons. But I feel like there needs to be some sort of reason to be chaotic evil if you are playing that style. Civilians should also attack if you attack them. Cyberpunk has a lot of potential. They need to work on Night City before they release a whole new city that will just be as dead as Night City before these few changes. Still need improvement, but not a terrible game so far. Yeah, I think it's good news that they're focusing so much on, you know, getting dynamic events and things happening in Night City for sure. Then we have Baron who says the following. This is a new look for Saburo Arasaka during the Johnny flashback when Arasaka uses Soul Killer on Johnny. He's much younger looking now. Yeah, that's an interesting change. I noticed someone mentioned that on uh, the subreddit and I, can, I don't know why they did that. It's a very interesting change for sure. But there it is. The latest happenings around Cyberpunk 2077. Let me know what you guys think of all of this. Uh, you know, hopefully they can actually show some love to old gen uh, users on consoles and things like that. But uh, we'll see what happens. At least we're headed in the right direction with this game. I do have high hopes for Cyberpunk in 2022. I just want to get to this big expansion and I hope that up to that point we are given some free DLC through all of this. So yeah. We'll see what happens. I'll keep you guys updated. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for more, and I will see you all next time. Take care.